What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger in today's video We're gonna be on the new beta 19 2024 YZ 250F We're gonna be testing against stock suspension setup that came with the bike versus an old beta 18 suspension from pro precision's discord Link will be down in the description below if you want to give it a go And we're just gonna see if new stock can beat the old or the old can still be in with the new We're gonna be here at Buchanan's red bud and see if we can get over the Rocco's leap, baby all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the beta 18 setup and then we'll rock over the stock But I think the setup here that I got from pro precision is actually pretty good Link will be down in the description below uh, They have a wide variety of setups just open in their discord for free So be sure to give them a look and I just wanted to see if that kind of setup a kind of middle ground See if it's gonna be compatible for the new bikes and so far the bike doesn't feel bad I haven't really ran over any huge bumps, but um, yeah, this is what we're gonna be testing I don't think this is gonna be like more or less a speed test to where it's like I'm gonna see if I can break any records or get close to my times But if it comes down to it, I'll be like yo, I'm happy with that um, But honestly, I just think you're so much less traction on these bikes. Now, here's a huge test I want to see if I can get over this triple. Oh Man, that is a stretch dude So maybe I'll stay third gear wide instead of going up to fourth gear But maybe you have to just scream these bikes everywhere you go just to get these um, greatest amount of speed but um yeah i mean so far the bike's suspension feels really good i mean the bikes are already feeling great even with the stock on it i didn't even feel like i needed a setup um but i wanted to give it a go because i think this is like a question inside the community right now it's like can i run old setups on the new bikes and will they work and just to see how close they are in comparison so yeah we're running about three laps on on each and kind of give my humble opinion on it to see if they are and so far the bike feels great i know he has a super cross uh setup in there too so i'm definitely going to be giving that a go just comparing with all the bikes and uh just to see if stock is good or bad but coming up to larocco's lead i'm going to try stay third gear like i said see if i can actually stretch it and we came up so short dude so short that is unfortunate so as you can see I, I don't know if the bikes are slower it's just not enough traction being built under us for us to get that speed but yeah pretty pretty insane so i think it's like a bit of both right slower bikes less traction you know kind of have to weep it so now we just got to figure out how we can get over it or even if we can and if we can't get over it then there has to be some type of fix down the road for uh, OEM to at least allow us to be able to get jumps, right? Because if we're not even able to hit a regular triple where the bikes aren't even gonna be able to, you know, max out to that, it's like, oh, well then why are we trying? Again, I know I know IRL for a fact that LaRocco's Leap is a big jump, you know? Let's make it make sense. That LaRocco's Leap is a big jump. You really have to fully pin to get it there, but we should be able to fully pin and get it. But we keep, I, I literally just came up short just now, so maybe I'll have better run at it for the second time. But so far, Pro Precision kind of knows what they're talking about, man. This is my first time trying one of their setups. And, um, man, I got to say, it's actually pretty nice. At least uh, coping with the bike, you know? All right, let's see. Third gear scream. Screamed at me. Screaming. See, bounce it. Oh! <laughs> All I, I tried to get my, my six inches at the top, man. I still am casing it. So, that was third gear pinned, man. I don't know. Now, I do want to try something different. Um, I'll probably try it here in a second. Oh, 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 oh make it. Um, I was he, talking yesterday on stream and some people were like, you know, in, in real life when you sit down off the face of the jump Or you're down on the face of the jump. You actually get more pop in the air like right here If I sat down and then jumped, I think that is the meta and I might have to come out with a full video and explain that but um, Last time I wasn't actually able to clear that but I sat down off the face of the jump and I actually got way more pop in the air so if you guys made it to this far in the video you guys probably already have that in your mind or you're probably already probably already ahead of the game so be sure to hit that like button subscribe button if that helped you out and i am going to try it here i don't know if it's going to be fully viable go with the fourth gear and let's just sit on the face and pull back and then forward that gave me more of a pop i mean yes granted we're on top of it and not fully over but that was way better than before i literally cased it pretty bad let's try it here too i feel like i'm getting more pop leaning back and then pulling forward off the face of the jump and sitting down um it could be placebo effect but I mean, anything at this point is gonna help me or try to help me out. So, you know, I, I, I can only have wishful thinking that something's gonna figure it out or help us in this long game of uh, riding. Oh wow, W freaking front flip. But suspension feels great. I mean, I don't really have anything wrong to say. I guess I just have to compare the times really. But I will say right now so far what I am testing, old setups do work. 
don't want to slide out that back too much. That's why I was low-key slowing down. Let's see if we can take this outside here. Good slide, but we're there. Over to bumps. Front end still wanting the lift. Good scrub. See if we can take this inside. I love the engine braking on the bikes. It's actually really great. Just trying to just trying to test all the all the bumps. Turning. That's like great. All right, right here. This is the moment of truth. Let's go. Sit down, and then boom, pull up. I mean, realistically, I feel a little bit more of a stretch in it, right? I feel a little bit more of a stretch. I didn't have to seat bounce or anything. We we're kind of just there. So, I'm half right, maybe half wrong. I would like for you guys to test this more. Maybe it's just something in the suspension that we're not seeing yet, or more pop in the air, or more pop off the face of the jumps. So, you might be something there. Maybe a better rebound compression, you know, compression and all that. Probably something we just haven't found yet. So, Let's see if we can take this inside over the bumps. That felt great. Just back wheel spinning. We can take this inside as well. Oh, feels nice though. I will say I'm starting to fall in love with these bikes. I know a lot of people are scared of the change for these bikes, but I genuinely think they are in a good spot. All right, fourth gear. Fourth gear, come on. Sat down on it. Still same spot. Still same spot no matter what. So like I said, it might be placebo. I don't know. But uh, pretty unfortunate. And precision pro precision's like I don't know if it's just like the bike feels so much better with this setup, like with the setup on and being the new bike, like just the fixes on it, but man, it feels really great. Let's go ahead and see what our time was, because I think I was running pretty good right there so we ran three good laps my ideal laps at 203 now i believe on this track i literally was almost pinned everywhere i believe on this track anything for like a 250 would have been like a a 151 one like a really fast lap would have been like a 151 to 154 right and then maybe a 156 or 7 is like you would like mistakes and stuff i don't think i really made any mistakes here i really was definitely wide open almost everywhere right i was definitely taking like off off corners or off off different like angles but dude that's like 10 that's like a whole 10 seconds off the pace so they're definitely slower but let's go ahead and hop to the stock one all right now we're on the beta 19 stock setup so we're gonna see what's different from pro precision uh beta 18 setup to now and uh i did i think i was yeah for sure running a 1454 on that on that sprocket and this one's a 1350 by stock so i don't know if it was just you know sprocket or whatever uh, for us not to go over LaRocco's leap, so I am gonna put that to the test as soon as we get over there But so far suspension doesn't feel bad I think right now if I had to say OEM was really focused on you know You guys not needing a setup for especially for newer riders I know a lot of people in saying beta 18s where it's like riding stock is almost horrible that you need a setup just to compete You know and so far what I say like the stock on the beta 19 does not feel bad Oh, wow, we kind of got over that just a bit more than we did on the other one. So maybe it might have been Sprocket, but I don't know. Fourth gear feels really nice, though. Kind of giving me more power to the back wheel. But yeah, a lot of people say that the that the OEMs now just doesn't give you enough, you know, lead way for being in stock. But I will say right now, it doesn't feel too bad on stock. I will say I think I was riding way more comfortable on Pro Precisions though, so that setup does feel like it can compete with these new setups. I definitely want to give that a go on the YZ450, uh, the Gas, Gas 250 and 450. I definitely want to make some videos just to see if those ones are compatible as well. But so far for the Yamaha, it feels really great for outdoors. Alright, let's see fourth gear with the 1350. Fourth gear, 1350! Same place. <laughs> Same place. So I don't think it's Sprocket. It really is just still the bike. I don't think it's Sprocket. It is still just the bike. Let me take this inside here. I haven't been taking it at all. Turning dynamics, though, feel really great. I just think with the 1350 on the back, I feel the back wheel sliding way more than the 1454. So I think a more less aggressive Sprocket will give you a less slip and slide or more control on the bike. But so far that I've seen when I've had a, a faster sprocket on there, higher RPMs, you can see the back wheel spin way more. So that might be something we need to figure out. But right here, literally just slipping all the way around. If I can take this inside, slow her down. Oh man, went right over that rut. 
Oof. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah, right off the bat, the bike is just wanting to lift up way more than it was on the <laughs> on Pro Precisions. Which isn't a bad thing, you know? Like, this is this might be really fun. This might be something that people enjoy, and they're like, oh, I can handle this, you know? Like, I want this torque, you know? And that's cool with me. Like, I want that. I want that for you. Still not able to send it, dude. I've, I've tried the seat bounce situation. I've... That I, I was talking about, I've tried the stand-up situation, like, nothing, man. I don't think nothing's given. It, it has to be the bikes. Good braking, good, uh, good engine braking, though. I don't know if you guys see it, dude. I'm barely, I'm barely on the bike, like, barely on the brakes, and the bike is, like, literally slowing down for me. <laughs> that is amazing. That is always a plus, dude. The more you can stay off your brakes will give you, make you a better rider in this game. And that right there, just allowing the bike to slow down for me automatically is amazing. for this full outside i really want to keep trying to rail stuff like the rail the outside corners without the bike trying to slide on the back side of me let's go let's go oh all right i sat down the whole time there and did like the little seat bounce thing i mean we're getting there it's not full it's not fully it's not fully there but we're getting there you know so you just gotta be something man you just gotta be some something we can uh, take out of this dude and somebody might figure it out and be like yo okay i think i know what you're doing wrong and i want you guys to like feel like yo this is what you're doing wrong or this is what you can do to get over it but man i'm struggling i'm struggling on a 250 to get over that man and i don't know if the gas gas i haven't tried it yet definitely be sure to make that video or let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a video on the gas gas going through hell what's it like another good track that has like some really crazy spots i think washington has some crazy spots millville I want to see the freaking physics on Millville. Um, here's some really good places. I want to see. I haven't even tried these these bikes in the sand yet, so that might be another test as well. See how it feels in the sand. Millville does have sand textures. I don't know if it's like full sand track or not, but definitely go there, or we can go to Southwick. But Redbud was a good spot, especially for Larocco's Leap. I heard that these things were being really underpowered, and as you can see, it kind of is. Yeah, that's as far as it goes, man. That's as far as it goes. But stock setup so far, what we're really testing here, feels great. Stock setup feels great. I think I actually was letting the bike sing more with Pro Precision. So I will say right now, yes, um, old setups might work. This is the first. This is the first bike of many. So, you know, so I don't know if this is going to be for every bike. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is going to be for every bike, but so far, yes. If you were to go in the Pro Precisions right now and use that setup. You could probably even tweak it to more of your advantage, maybe change that gear ratio, probably have better, better understanding of the bike. But yeah, they do work for sure. So you can choose either stay in stock or really give it a go. Now I want to see a, I want to see a Supercross setup as well. I definitely want to try Supercross with the, with their setup to see if it's going to be better than what stock is, because that's going to be fun too, man. Now I'm literally singing it, dude. I'm literally singing always on top of, of the hill like we're basically making it but we're not like we're not clearing it but we're getting on top of it so it's a start it's a start lower down yes sir i will say being able to get in the corners and stuff like that is 10 times better and feels more gradual than beta 18 though nice nice all right boys so that's uh that's it man right there ideal lap was a two minute my other one was a 203 now realistically i don't know if that was like you know completely accurate maybe it might have been some crashes i was taking some off lines but ideal lap being at a two minute and the other one was a 203 i think that setup still worked from pro precision it was just maybe the sprocket of being a 1454 maybe the 1350 is just better with power so i don't know you guys let me know down in this comment section if you guys tried this and let me know what your guys' ideal lap is. I would love to know if you guys got broke two minute into the 159s. And I'll be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pa 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 pee. Bye.